35 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble, and we go from now until midnight tonight. Well, I'm trying to get something to go here, and it won't go. Let me see here. Let me do this. Here. There we go. <laughs> I don't. Oh my God! Everything's going wrong here at the same time. Hold on a second, folks. What is wrong? There we go. There, that's supposed to work like that. Oh boy! And then all of a sudden, it decided it was going to uh, start launching my Photoshop. Oh boy! This is the day when things go wrong. Do da do da. Mm, 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 mm. All the do da day. Oh boy. Anyway, let me see here. And also my, uh, my um, um, uh, it's not uh, looking that good. Not looking that terrific. No, oh, well, what the hell. Uh, I, let me just uh, do a few things here. I have to adjust a few things. I hate to just adjust things, but then again, I adjust things. Okay, let me see here. Let me lower uh, the um, brightness here just a tad. Uh, uh, up, and there we go. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah. You know, uh, everything works wrong. <laughs> See, I mean, I was supposed to, for instance, start that thing, and I was supposed to push a button, and it was supposed to go, See, like uh, this. No? No, I can't. Uh, let me see here. If I push this button, what happens? There we go. See? Now, that, that plays. See, this was my big COVID-19 opening. Yeah, you see? And then we go into the whole thing and it's BAM! Get, get scared and we get ramped up and we get screwed up. Oh, there's a whole bunch of nobody people there. Oh, there's a truck. Oh, well. Let's drive down the road, see nobody on either side of it, you see, because this is all saying desolation. This looks like a sci-fi movie. Oh, wait a minute. There's a big giant coronavirus. It's about to attack New York City. Oh, but wait a minute. We'll go back out somewhere else. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Oh, the guy's spraying everywhere. That's nice. She's running. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and she's got a mask on. Uh, uh, yeah, and there's a big giant coronavirus again. And there's the COVID-19 update. See, that's how it was supposed to work. But that's not how it worked. Everything else went off. It seems as though there were things that didn't uh, do well here and didn't go. And, uh, oh, well, you know, what can I say? You know, it's all all life on the Internet and uh, what we have to do with the Internet. Anyway, uh, uh, this is uh, Friday. Uh, it's Friday, and this is, uh, I think it's something like day 55 or 65 of, uh, of our um, camping in. 
Uh, we've been we've been indoors for a long time. I got on the I uh, got on the uh, the uh, pen. What is it called? The uh, pentalon or whatever that thing's called that Marjorie got. This is a bike. And I got on the bike. I did thirty minutes on the bike. I did a, I did four miles. She's so proud of me. Did that today. The only thing is the trouble with the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, pen. What what's it called? The pen. I forget now. Anyway, is the seat is like rock hard and it it grabs me in the nuts which i can't stand so i have to put a towel on it to kind of soften it and we're getting some gel padding to put on it but it hasn't come yet so i sit there on the bike in great pain pedaling along and uh, also my feet are stuck to it because you have to you got these cleats these special shoes i got in these cleats that click in to the uh, to the pedals, okay. Uh, you can't use them without the cleats, all right. And the cleats get stuck onto them, and then you you go like crazy. And of course, you're not going to slip off, which is that's nice. That's the nice part. But then the bad part that, that happens is then when you try to get out, you got to turn your your uh, your foot outwards, and it's supposed to like come undone, but it doesn't sometimes. And now, then I'm in great fear that I'm stuck on this, uh, this contraption for the rest of my life. That's life with me trying to do working out. But that's one way we have solved the problem of exercise. Okay, we've got an exercise machine now, and we're, we, can, we don't have to go anywhere. And then I get the haircut. You see, Marjorie does the haircut now with the, with the clippers. And uh, we, don't need a, we don't need anybody or anything. We're all self-sufficient. <sighs> but it was meatballs again tonight. Meatballs and penne. And uh, I, I like it. like it a lot. But, you know, got to be a bit, it gets to be a bit much after a while. I'm, uh, I, uh, where, where can we go? We, I got to take her out to dinner. And that's what I do. We we call up out to the restaurant. We use this, uh, you know, one of these things. I don't know, uh, to uh, get food from the restaurant that we usually go to. And about once a week, we order out there, and we call it eating out. But you know something? When you sit in a restaurant, and you eat food in a restaurant, uh, which is really nice. Uh, the food is so good and so scrumptious, and they bring you the little bread basket, and then they bring you the wine, if you have wine, I don't drink. And then they bring you the meal, and the meal you sup upon very slowly, and, and you go, oh, isn't this delicious, right? Now, when it's delivered to your home, that same exact meal doesn't taste as good at home. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. It tastes better sitting in a restaurant eating it. So, I don't know. But why should I complain? At least we can afford to buy one of those meals where there are a lot of people in America who can't because um, they haven't been taken care of by this president. Okay, let's go take a look at the... Oh, that isn't working either. Okay, well, then I'll just do this. Okay. Boy, none of these transitions are working tonight. I just tried to use the transition, and I couldn't get back... To the uh, you see that's supposed to go doesn't go okay who cares I don't care okay because I have other ways I can do it because there you go folks there's the map there's the world map that's the one we look at every night and we get really depressed with totally confirmed deaths now in the world or, or totally confirmed cases in the world are four million five hundred thirty eight thousand four hundred and six that's a lot of people got sick who got the flu. Global deaths, though, this isn't good. These people are not going to be uh, coming back from this flu. They are stuck with it. 307,486 people no longer on the face of the earth. Now, I'm wondering how many people die every day, just die, okay? There's got to be a certain amount of people that die every day. But I, I, I think this would be above that amount. I don't think they're saying that everybody dies now is dying of coronavirus. If they are, we're being given, given bad numbers. Some people think this is all underreported. For instance, Russia is, we think, underreporting. I'll show you that in a moment, okay? But, well, I can show you that right now. They're, they're claiming 
confirmed uh, cases of uh, 262,843 and 2,418 deaths. Now, that's in Russia. Now, Russia, you can see, is right here. Number two, they were all the way down here at one point. And they have suddenly surged higher and higher and higher and higher. So that places like the United Kingdom aren't as high as you once thought they were. Spain, which was a big hot spot, is no longer a hot spot. Italy, no longer a hot spot, although people are still dying in Italy at a rather uh, huge rate. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I, it, 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 but anyway, let's go to... The, what happened here in, in New York, let me just uh, uh, say this for uh, uh, New York for a second. Today, uh, Cuomo, who gives his, Andrew Cuomo, who gives his speech every day, announced that we only had yesterday 120 deaths in, in New York State. 120 20 deaths, okay? Uh, 34 of them in uh, nursing homes. Uh, and uh, uh, 96 of them are uh, just uh, hospitals here in New, in, in New York State. That's a lot down. It's still, it's still deaths, and we can't celebrate till we see zero. In fact, who did I read has zero now? Uh, some country. Oh, China. If, if you can believe the reports, says they have had zero cases, zero deaths as a result of the coronavirus in the last, what, two weeks or something? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll believe the Chinese, okay? Somebody's got to. Our president won't. Anyway, where are we? Um, okay, so we're back to the map. Let's go to the U.S. here and take a look at uh, what happened in the U.S. Uh, today. Uh, we're up to uh, 1,442,819. We are by and uh, far and away the most infected country in the world. Now, you know, yes, we have a big country here. China's got a billion three, I think. And uh, Russia, I don't know what the total population of Russia is, but it's got to be somewhere around what we are. I mean, it's a huge country with a large land mass. But none of these countries come anywhere close to us. We're uh, at least, um, uh, oh, uh, what, three times as infected, excuse me, four, maybe five times as infected as any other country in the world. I mean, if Russia is second here with uh, 262,000, and we're up here with 1,442,000 1, 1, going on 43,000, that's not good. That's terrible. And that was on, you know, I, you got to blame it on, on our president. You have to. And he should take the blame for it. I mean, if he's a good guy, he will take the blame for it, saying, hey, it happened on my watch. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm feeling very bad about this. Okay? But we don't hear any of that. And the fact is that all these cases here, this immense amount of people, now that, this is unusual. Other countries have been able to keep their rate down. In, in the, per 100,000 people, this is still a huge number, okay? Far and away larger than anybody else in the world. You know, I can see if you get all the way down to the bottom of this list, which, you know, 100 and some odd 42 countries in the world, 157 countries in the world, uh, La Soho, <laughs> I don't even know where it is, but I looked at it, and it's down here. See, it's down, it's, it's the one that's flashing. Uh, and it is uh, Lesotho. Have you ever heard of Lesotho? I've never heard of Lesotho. One confirmed case, zero deaths. I'm moving to Lesotho, folks, because that's where you want to be in this time of, uh, of uh, great virus, all right? back to the U.S. so we can look at that horrible, horrible number that we have. Let me just make it bigger and you can just, there, stare at it for a while. 1,442,824 people, okay? Let me go back down, make that small. 
of course, if we want to, let's do the same thing with the deaths, okay? Deaths in the United States. Let's make it big. There we go. 87,530. Do you realize that is far and away more dead people in the United States than probably, I would say, uh, and I have to, I'd have to look, this, uh, look at this, but uh, I think uh, we have more people than, say, the top four countries in the world. So I don't know. You know, uh, for instance, we have 87,530. Russia has 2,418. United Kingdom, uh, 34,000. Spain, uh, I think they're 27,000. Italy, these are the deaths, 31,000. So, you know, I mean, compare that to all these other countries, and, I mean, we're just doing terribly, just horribly. And I, you know, I, I don't know what to say to you. Um, I don't know what anybody can say. It is just absolutely uh, terrible. Okay? All right. Anyway, that's that. That's what she wrote. Uh, let me see if this works. Does this work? Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that my, my buttons are working. Okay? See? I get, so you can get the Alex thing, and then we get the... I bring me back in. Isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? Okay, good. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Um, what else do I have to talk to you about? Uh, we we took, took a look at the map and how bad things are. And uh, they are not getting, you know, they're not getting any better in the, in the whole country. Uh, what happens is, is that, that the, the, uh, the number of people in New York has gone, went, went like this. I'm trying to do it so that, yeah, uh, yeah. It went like this, okay, and then it's coming back down. It's down, back down to where it began, practically. Not, not all the way, but pretty close to where we first started reporting it, all right? And we said, oh, we got something going on here. Meanwhile, the rest of the country, if you exclude New York City, is going st straight up. It's continuing its upward curve. So if you don't think that it's coming to your town, because your town's been safe, uh, tell me that in another couple of weeks, okay? And uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start believing you, okay? But, I mean, it's just not good. It's not good, and it's terrible, and it's horrible, and I hate for this to be the topic of the show every night, but there's no other topic, okay? Occasionally, I, we've gotten off of it and gotten onto something, you know, relatively benign. But we're just, uh, we're just stuck with this thing. And I don't know when it's all going to be over. I mean, the president goes, oh, we're going to see the end of this. This is coming to an end. No, it's not, folks. Do not believe the man behind the curtain. Uh, it, it, it's not over. And it's not going to be over for quite a while. And once it's over, uh, it's not going to be over in the way you want it to be over, where we're going to go back to life as it once was. Um, we're never going back to that. Uh, all, all, all events where we're close together are going to have to be thought over uh, and, and, and redone. I think we're going to have to rethink the way we play football, for instance, or the way we show movies, uh, or the way we, uh, we uh, seat people in restaurants. Uh, I think that all the future restaurants that are built and theaters that are built and uh, venues that are built that uh, take large amounts of people are going to be rethought, and they're going to think of a new way of doing it, okay? Uh, and they're going to be built to accommodate the new normal. Meanwhile, all the old theaters, all the old ways of doing things, forget it. It's not coming back. It's gone. If nothing more, it's gone because the American public is now so frightened of this, you know, except for those n nitwits out there with their guns at the state uh, um, governor's uh, mansion uh, protesting, I don't want to be indoors. I don't like being indoors. We, we, we. Come on, suffer a little bit for your fellow man, okay? Quit being such a fucking pussy. I shouldn't call somebody with a gun a pussy, but I just did. It's not wise. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, let me go to the let me go to the phones. Let, let's let these people do my work for me uh, and do all the talking. 
Uh, I have to wait for the Skype to open up. No, nothing here is working right tonight. So I have, and I have no idea why, and I couldn't care less. Uh, but I have no idea why. Um, but it should, they should, it should work okay. I mean, I can do it manually. I'm just, it's just that there's some mechanics here that should be working right, and it's, it's not. Okay. All right. Uh, the uh, Skype lines are now officially open. Okay. Uh, we don't use Zoom here. We, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Zoom to come out with some stuff that will allow me to. Do oh, oh, oh. Whew. Well, that 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 didn't go long. It just went and then it left. Uh, I think it was Brian Neary, but it may not have been. Uh, let's see here. Who is it? That oh, is Brian Neary. Hello, Brian. How are you? Are you there? Hello. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, uh, hell. That's wonderful. Okay. All right. Uh, keep keep that a second. I want to just uh, do this. Uh, I want to... Um, oops, hold, hold on a second. I want to, uh, I want to do this uh, and show people uh, the uh, whole picture. Uh, let me see here. Talk, talk to me a second, Brian. Just say something so your, your voice will... Something, 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 oh, something. Okay, let's see if we can something. get that. Well, no, there's, there's Rob. Uh, say, say something again. Uh, uh, Hello, testing, one, two, three. Hello. Uh, well, we can't get a... F there we go. There we go. Uh, it's a little blurry, but uh, boy, that's so nice. That's, that's California, right. folks. That's California. Hello. Anyway. Okay, let me let me go back here, and then let me go back to this here. Okay, who have we got there? Uh, we've got yeah. Okay, uh, let me see here. I got to go to the next panel of group group of people. Oh, and okay, we've got all these people were here last night, so I don't have to actually put them in there. Is there anybody I'm missing? No, I think I got everybody right now. Yeah. Hi there. Oh, here we go. Here comes Josh Wheeler. Uh, good for him. Uh, we always like to have Josh. Uh, let me see here. Josh is uh, uh, Josh W. There we go. And he will be there in a second. There we go. Oops. Okay. Hello, Josh. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Uh, wait a minute. Here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. And we'll uh, put Kevin in there. Let's see here. Where does he go? There, he went right into the place he was last night. This is terrific. I, I don't know, if you if you would all call every night at the same time, <laughs> doing the same thing, I wouldn't have to um, uh, deal with anything. Let me see There's here. Here, interesting here, 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 back and forth while you're talking. It's pretty funny for Kevin and everybody going back and forth on online. It's pretty hilarious. Really? Uh, hold on a second. Where, 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 yes. Let me see here. Here's Vernon. So I got to go and put Vernon Nunn in here because he wasn't anywhere last night. So th there we go. What, what is that? What is that? Who's Who's got audio? I think it's Vernon. Vernon? What? It, kill the what, audio. What, what? Kill the audio. I don't have any. The uh, hmm. circle is lit. Yeah, the circle is lit. Okay, well. You hear, you hear there's a little bit there. Okay, well, anyway, we're okay now. Uh, um, I touched my microphone a second ago. By the way, I want to read something, uh, and I want to do this uh, for the people out there uh, who are currently, um, uh, they, they do this thing we call uh, the chat room, and I am going to monitor the chat room tonight. I'll read, read to you why. This guy wrote me a note. His name is John... Uh, Tapley, Tapley, and he says, please consider banning trolls from the YouTube chat. They make it impossible for others to communicate with each other, and that is their purpose. Here is a log of the last 10 minutes of tonight's show, the same troll posts and the same exact spam that is always off topic to the show and what uh, the chatters are trying to discuss. Uh, this is a clear case of trying to disrupt the uh, uh, and stifle expression, and then he gave me a readout of it. And if you you follow this, right, Kevin? Yeah, once in a while. Yeah, and and uh, who else? Who else follows it there? 
I do. Yeah, and and do you see that happening? Who who is the worst offender? American Patriot, maybe. <laughs> He usually has very little to say except uh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, and I see here that of maybe, oh, I don't know, let's say 30 posts, 25 of them are like American Patriot. So American Patriot, what I'm going to do tonight, oh, wait a minute, he isn't even here tonight. God, he yeah, isn't. He's there. Oh, yeah, he's there. Oh, he's there. Oh, he is here? Yeah. Where is he? There he is. Okay, let me do this. Let me put him on a timeout. Okay, I can put him on a timeout. And uh, Peach's Courage, Peach's Courage, Peach's Courage, just constantly Peach's Courage yep. over and over again. Okay, I'm putting him in the timeout too. Okay. Now they'll be really pissed at me, right? You know. they'll, they'll get over it. Yeah, who gets, who gets it? Huh? Gives a I love Trump. <laughs> so let me see here. Uh, is Phil? Oh, there's Phil. Okay, I got to give Phil a spot here. Uh, do, 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 scuba diver. Oh, wow. There we are. Okay, there's Phil. Okay, now we can. We got all these people here. Boy, we've got a oh, not a full house yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, um, so anybody have anything that they want to talk about tonight that, you know, I'm not talking about? Donald Trump just fired another person. Who did he fire? He fired uh, State Department Inspector General Steve Linick. Mm -hmm. um, not sure why yet, but... Do you think he thinks he's still doing that damn TV show? Yep. Yeah. You know, and he's just so. got to go around firing people. Yeah. You know. You're fired. Yeah, you're fired. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I just, you know, uh, it's just, you know, I'm just so tired. I'm exhausted. Aren't you guys exhausted of him? Well, except for Phil. Uh, he, you, you get invigorated by him, don't you, Phil? Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, one day well, you I know if we don't if we don't test, we don't get negatives, and if we don't have negatives, we don't have a pandemic. Right. Just there you go. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, he did yeah, say over. he did the same way about smoke that's, detectors. He's, hey, so we'll never then have he's, a fire if we don't have any smoke yeah, detectors. I want them to wait, wait a minute, hold on a second. Rob was trying to say something there. He's keeping up on what he said. Someday it'll just disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly just and he made testing. it disappear. And it when it, does, it all goes away. And when it does disappear, just like it did in China and, and other places that had the outbreak, uh, what are you going to say? Well, what, are they, what are they, what are they doing? God. But what did they do in China that made the outbreak stop? They killed all the people with the virus. Ah, oh, well, there you go. There you go. Okay. They rounded awesome. them up. They burned their bodies. Mm -hmm. That I've. No, but, but what did they do? They had a very aggressive thing going there. You know, they had a very aggressive program, and that's the why they, for instance, I think it's, I was right that in the last two weeks, there had been no coronavirus deaths, maybe two months. I can't remember which figure it was, uh, in, but uh, no deaths, zero. So now, that means you want a program, Well, right? no, I, look, I, you know, I mean, if that's what it takes... Oh, come on. Wait a minute. If that's what it takes to take all these people with their guns and I don't want to stay home and I don't I want to go out, I want my freedom to roam and infect people. Uh, if 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 it would stop that, I'd be there. Uh, uh, I would be uh, in 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 favor of a more aggressive program. Yes. Georgia and Colorado, uh, as well as Florida, opened up their states and the death rate has gone down. Now, well, how uh, long have the state's been open? Check 14 uh, days from now. Yeah. yeah. You we'll can't see. really say anything now. you got to wait 14 days. That's went down. No, but th no, they didn't. Well, they went again, down. Well, do they went well, down because down, they were shut down. down. you got to wait 14 days, Phil. They've been shut down for two and a half months. That's right. And they just opened up, so you got to wait 14 days. Right. Well, we'll see. Wait 14 days. So there's nothing to brag about when you say a state opened and the, de the deaths went down. They did. Uh, or, or even the cases Colorado went down. In Georgia that opened up, what, last week, 
the deaths went down. Uh, right. The deaths uh, down today. I'll bet if New York City opened up full bore today, the deaths would go down tomorrow. But give it two weeks and see what would happen. It's the right. same thing. you got to give people a chance to get infected. It takes a while for it to gestate inside them to show up as a disease. Nope. It has to go out. I told my people, I said, don't come back until June 1st. I said, I'm going to open up June 1st. And I, you know, and I think that's, that's okay. You know, but there are a lot of states that are opening now and, 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 and uh, beauty parlors are open and uh, restaurants are open and bars. Casinos are getting ready now. I think bars are going to be closed for a while longer. I think that uh, music... Not in Wisconsin. By the way, Phil, you also have to look at the rest of the country, which is still on an upward climb. Okay? Uh, they haven't... Plat- the rest... The whole country as a whole, with the exception in, of New York, has yeah. not even plateaued yet. Did you hear the news? They they passed another stimulus plan. I'm getting another twelve hundred. Three trillion. They just passed it. I'm turning you in. <laughs> I just got my other check today. Free money. How many names do you have, Tony? Huh? How many names are you filing under? Just one. I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tony, I didn't get Magnum. any stimulus check. Magnum. I want hours. They passed a three trillion t- uh, plan. I just was reading it. Yeah. Put your hands behind your head. Give me your stimulus check. It's mine. I'm gonna catch that shit tomorrow. Yeah. Got it in my room. Is that true, Tony? They did. Yeah, I'm not lying. I'm yeah, just on the news. They passed it. Three, three children. Three children. McConnell's gonna kill it though. He wants all the states to oh, go bankrupt. Oh, that's just the house. Yeah. I think they, it's gonna go through. I don't think they have a bunch of. And children. Trump's gotta sign it. Yeah, they're not signing that. They're not even gonna get to Trump because that's the one with the Planned Parenthood stuff and the uh, PBS and, oh, and money for the helping out the states. Oh, wait a minute, state. hold, hold on a second. What were you yeah, saying? What are you none saying? of that stuff's going to happen. What are you saying, Vernon? I said, yeah, this one has money in there for helping out states, helping out municipalities. Help Trump's not going to sign that because he doesn't give a shit. Helping them do what? Pay off their yeah, what is it? What is this about? For the what police is, department. What is this about PBS and what are you doing, listening to Alex Jones? I went. No, it was on Microsoft News. What? I just that saw they them. passed the three tree. No, 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 no. We're talking. We're talking about Phil's assertion that oh, PBS is getting oh, money yeah. and Planned Parenthood is getting money. Yeah, I didn't hear that, Alex. I'm sorry. But he yeah. he heard that somewhere where they you know because he goes to the news he wants to hear. And you don't? No. No. <laughs> no. And no. all the other news is what you want to hear. Hey, listen. All I do is I go and I watch a Trump. Uh, uh, what do you call it? press conference? And I ob- watch Political it, and then I take with- from it. I take from it what I see, and I don't listen to the after story from from the commentators and so on. I watch Cuomo every day. I watch him when he's through. I don't listen to Andrea Mitchell's dissertation on what he just said. I listen to these people, and then I make my own opinion. Phil. I think you might have a preconceived idea when you listen to Trump as to what your opinion is going to be. Phil, I have a preconceived idea that he's an absolute moron because that's what's coming yeah. out of his he mouth. My taste. That's, that's it's been three that's, years. It's not been a couple of weeks, Phil. And he proves it every day. It's been three years of listening to blather. Eighteen thousand lies. It's okay. blather. It's he doesn't say anything of any substance. To you, it's blather. I think it's blather coming out of Cuomo. Uh, wow. You don't That's listen me. to Cuomo. I, I don't. Oh, well, see, well you see, then how do you know it's blather, Phil? Because when I do listen to him, I... It, it, when, 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 when did you hear him last? When did you literally watch his press conference? A couple days ago. You did? The whole thing? I, you don't get the whole thing. Uh, but, you know, at least I didn't see the whole thing. Or take time to watch yeah? the whole thing. Okay. Charlie's got his hand up. Yes. Oh, Charlie. Yes. Yeah. By Trump's logic, we should never get chest x-rays or colonoscopies because that's when the diseases show up. If we never got those tests anymore, we would never get colon cancer Um, or or lung cancer or anything like that. You wouldn't have to if you just listen to him and take the Lysol. All right. Yeah. Take the Lysol. And and who needs a colonoscopy? Yeah. Right. I got to get one. Yeah, well, I I got a note from my doctor, my yeah. my my that I I need I'm uh, it's time for me to repeat my colonoscopy. Oh really? Uh, yeah, and it's from my it's from my um, uh, general practitioner. 
the guy's my GP, right? He's not the guy that's supposed to send me that. It's my gastroenterologist that does, and he 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 told me I probably wouldn't have to take another one. What's that? Uh, slap it. Yeah, but where's it coming from? All of a sudden, somebody you, did yeah. something, and it. Yeah, well, we're, we're through. Okay, I got rid of it. Um, uh, and everything's going wonky tonight. It's like nothing works properly. But anyway. The I, I had to reboot the computer to get through on Skype. Really? Am yeah. I the only one when I log in and Skype and you say your Skype is live that you don't, I don't see a green dot next to? Uh, there was a no, green uh, dot. It took time a few seconds see. tonight for me to see it. Let me see yeah. here. Do many, I... many times uh, I don't see the green dot next to Gabnet. It could be. Oh, wait a minute. The, if you're watching it, it's delayed. So, uh, but it's if it's late, delayed, though. yeah, it's delayed. You should see the green light right. before he says it. I mean, there should be a green light now. Although I can't, I can't tell whether I'm, uh, whether I'm on or not or whatever is happening. But you know. was yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? You're on, Alex. Yeah, is it green? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but the, the point is that, uh, so, so he, he, you know, I, I'm going, so I go, oh, well, gee, why is he sending me this? This is ridiculous, you know, uh, because he isn't supposed to send me that I have to go do my colonoscopy. My gastroenterologist is supposed to, and I haven't heard from him. And then I decide, well, I'll call his office and leave a message for him or whatever. And I call up the doctor's office and he says, there's no one in the office right now. We're open on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 1030 to noon. <laughs> wow. That's a good and, life. And I'm going, wow, you know, if I suddenly um, was bleeding from both ears, I'd have to wait till like next Tuesday to talk to the guy. Right, the ER. <clears throat> yeah. But anyway, so I, uh, but forget it. My doctor told me once, if I, if, I, if I had polyps and then he removed the polyp, and then I didn't do anything about it. It'd be 10 years before it ever became a problem. So I'll be gone by then anyway. So, But where were we? We'll be, oh, yeah. we'll be sitting here 20 years from now doing GapNet. So I, I, <laughs> curse. The GapNet curse. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to bring up something that, that I was thinking about. Okay. L Biden right now does not have enough votes to win at the convention on the first ballot. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think it'll go to the convention and they will convince people or whatever, or, you know, or uh, Bernie will say, I'm turning all my gut all my votes over to, to, you know, over to him or whatever. But I don't think Bernie will do that on the first vote. Um, I don't think Biden is capable of winning on the first ballot, which means what? They'll have a second ballot. They will have a second ballot. What is different about the second ballot from the first ballot? I thought the second ballot, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that they still had to vote the way the state voted. No. That, uh, no. I, I, I thought college. it was nope. the third nope. ballot. No, 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 no. After the first ballot. Delegates are free to vote how they want. The delegates yeah. are, are free to vote how they want. So they'll vote for Bernie. No. What I see is I think, it's just a prediction of mine, they're going to draft Cuomo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think Cuomo's got so many skeletons in the closet. That, what skeletons? Uh, uh, you know yeah, all his mob connections. Ma, his ma, he, he has mob connections. Oh yeah. Oh, you I, do you know that for sure, Phil? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so did Trump, but he got elected. Yeah, ma, ma, oh. Trump had mob. He was mobbed up the day he met Roy Cohn. Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't deny it. Well, what I'm saying is that there's no way Cuomo is not mobbed up. Nobody has ever accused him of that, except you, Phil. Yeah, and and he flies off the handle. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, and and Trump uh, does. Trump does. Oh, he just fires him. Trump doesn't fly off the handle. Uh, you know, the your no, okay. just reported that he does that, mm. but then other people say that he doesn't. Well, uh, so is, other people <laughs> report that Trump uh, that Cuomo is just like a little teddy bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, come on, reported. Phil. You can't use the same. Word. You can't use that argument. You can't say he's reported to fly off the handle, and then when we know Trump goes off on tyrants, tirades, and and then you say, well, that's where you, who you're listening to that says that. Trump has never yelled at me. 
He, you know, Alex <laughs> yells at me more than Trump. What? Alex yells at me more than Trump. <laughs> yeah, Trump's he probably never... calls you every night, doesn't he, Phil? What's that? Uh, yeah, let me see here. Let me go oh, yeah. here. Yeah, and, uh, um, he writes me. Okay, I got to. I got American a, Patriots back on now. Is American right. Patriot back on? Oh, yeah, he's did, on the chat now. Did, That's did, over. Don't tell me you threw him off. Uh, what? Uh, did you throw him off? No. I threw him off? Uh, you know, yeah, I did. Nice guy. I never met him. He, no, but he, 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 he so inundates the, the uh, chat room that he ruins it for other people. You know, and let me see here. Darth Pat. Darth Pat. There we go. Okay. Hey, don't we have a full house? Uh, wait you want a minute. me to drop off a of Patrick? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to find a place for Patrick. And yes, we do have a. What is it? A full house? Uh, so that'd be yeah, a royal a, flush with the uh, Patrick. Flush. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to do away with that, and I got to get up the royal flush. There we go. And then, ta da! There you go, folks. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Did he come up on the feed? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, you know, sometimes you have problems getting the eleventh person. This on isn't the eleventh uh, person. He's the tenth person. No, uh, well, he's the tenth. He's not counting well, Alex. No, he's the tenth person. It's when we go to the eleventh person that if somebody else were to call, we might have a problem. Uh, I'm well, counting you, Alex. I, I count, count eleven. You it, it, you count eleven. I count yeah. four in the first line, four in the second line, and two in this next line, and then me. Not counting Alex. Yeah, no, yeah, not counting me. My, I don't count because I'm not eating up uh, bandwidth okay. on Skype. Yeah, You're but the moderator. We, we count you uh, as far we, we as whether it's as far as the full house, house and stuff. We count you. Yeah. That's okay. The uh, if we're going to argue about this, <laughs> we we'll always do. Please, folks, quit arguing about the minutia. People are dying in America. Good thing yeah. you don't count votes. How do you well, like that? Though? Seven thousand of them. We're down. Yeah, we're down. Alex, it's hanging. Chad. If you do away oh. with the with the uh, with the uh, nursing homes here, we're down yeah. to uh, ninety six deaths yesterday in oh. hospitals. That's, and that means that nobody is alive in a nursing home in New York. No, no, no. We, the nursing homes were thirty four, I believe. Yeah, and they're down too. By the way. Yeah. Are they taking new uh, new uh, new residents? I, uh, I have anymore? no idea what's going on, Phil. Yeah, they're offering a discount. Yeah, bet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a COVID special. It's 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 a deal to it's a deal it's a deal to die for. There you go. We haven't heard from Josh tonight. Hello, Josh. Hello. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the world this week? Same as it was last week. <laughs> Not much has changed. Yeah. Yeah. Did Patrick hit the bar? I, we saw uh, Wisconsin had some bars open. They, they had a bar there, and another guy came in the middle of them. And they I don't, they didn't – they saw the back of the head, so you couldn't see if they had masks on. But if you're at a bar drinking, how are you going to have a mask on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it, it, what I was thinking is if you go to a bar, you can't keep your mask on. They they should have, like, sip-through masks or something. Yeah. They have a hole in them for a straw, you have, know. Have a flat. Yeah, and you put like, one of those hats with the straw and the, the beer yeah. cans on either side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw some. I saw a meme that had a, a milk carton with the guy with the milk carton over his head, and then then the little it was on the front. And it almost looked like a um, you know a, a, a respirator, but the the hole was cut out where the where the yeah. screw top is, and there was yeah. a straw going through it. Well, I, I was thinking about, you know, w when you're wearing a mask, uh, about certain functions you can't do. I mean, you cannot uh, walk down the street and be sipping on a cup of coffee or anything like that, you know. And your iPhone 10 or 11 with the visual... Oh, I, uh, my, my, uh, my phone will not recognize me with my mask on. I have to I pull it down it. and then show, my, show up my face and then put it back up again. And what, if if... Apple were cool. What they would do is send an upgrade to those phones that recognizes just your eyes. They can, eyes. I thought. I thought they, they already are. did that. They're, They're working on mask. it. Uh, I heard they were working on uh, it. Because I just uh, punch in my, my digit, my code. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I haven't recognized my face. I mean, it, I, you know, I like it. 
when they're going to have to do it from the uh, from the nose up. I'll tell you something they did do on my phone. I found out, or they wrote me and told me, I have a new a new American Express card coming that goes till 2024 or something like that. It's a new one, and it's got a new little you know number attached to it and so on. And it said, uh, you, here's where you can go to see what it is and all the information, so you can use it temporarily and a lot of your other things until we get it to you. And by the way, if you're using your phone, if you're using a digital wallet, we're automatically upgrading your card to the new card. How do they know what the new card is? Uh, it's reported maybe by no, American they, Express? No, American Express wrote me this note saying that if you have a digital wallet, that oh, automatically that oh. your card will automatically be updated without you having to put in any digits or anything. So That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. But you're saying that they're they're working on it so that it will recognize you with the mask on. Yeah, I read that. Hmm. Maybe it'll use your eyes and your forehead and, you know, just use less areas. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. Does you're going to have to draw just a hold it up to your eyes. Your your eyes on the outside of the eyeballs. mask. Well, wait a minute. Does it? Hold on. Let me see if it recognizes me. No, I don't think it will. You probably have to redo no. it. No, no it doesn't. It doesn't. The mask on. It doesn't. doesn't recognize me. But uh, but you know uh, uh, that that's one problem we've got. We've been, we're, well that we're the new normal, folks. There here's part of the new normal we're going to have to deal with. You know. you know what they're doing is they're um, closing down streets and they're moving the tables from restaurants into the streets so that it's open air. And they're probably going to do that as the weather warms up. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 they are, you know, they're going to just move the tables. They'll keep them distanced, uh, and they'll probably have outdoor music and, and other things, kind of like in Italy. You know, when you go to Italy, they have a lot of service outside. They, you know, the music is outside. Who's going to pay for that space out in the street? Well, the city, uh, like Berkeley, for instance, mm -hmm. is closing many streets. Uh, to allow the uh, restaurants to move, <laughs> look at that, uh, to move into uh, into the street, and they used uh, the UC Theater, uh, David Myeri's theater, uh, as the example. Uh, that, that was uh, 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 Berkeley took a picture of that, and then they said we're going to move into the street. What I heard was this is a good way of handling it. Keith Urban, yeah, held a concert online. Uh, no, at a drive-in. He went to a drive-in theater and oh. held a concert. And he allowed, he did it for free for, uh, for, for uh, workers, you know, for health workers and so on. And they could all show up and they just stayed in their car and watched uh, Keith Urban perform. And he had a virtual band. Like yeah. one other guy in the band was doing a, a keyboard thing mm -hmm. and him. And then the rest of the band was on a video. Huh. Wow. So, you know, there are, people are getting very inventive. In fact, Glorified karaoke. I don't know how many saw Saturday Night Live last week, but it yeah. maybe was the best Saturday Night Live in 30 years. It was really I good. so, too. It was funny. It was really Everything good. on it was funny. And it yeah. was inventive because, because they had to get inventive. What did you mm -hmm. say? Did they back John Bellucci? No. no. Uh -huh. That was fun. Probably could. Yeah. Oh, American Patriot, is he being better now uh, since I, I made him put him on? Hey, same old, same old. Same old, Let same him run. Did you ghost him? No, no. Huh? Um, oh, and somebody last night on that thing chatted and said that uh, Trump uh, was, um, uh, he gave the numbers of Trump's popularity at something like 60-something and, and Cuomo's popularity at 57. I saw... And I just went online. I said, "How popular is Mar uh, Andrew Cuomo with the public?" And they said that among Democrats, he has a 77 percent approval rating. Among independents, he has something like a 57 percent approval rating, and among Republicans, he has a 40 percent approval rating. Wow! So, what would you say, Jeff? I'll vote for him. Yeah, I vote for him in a, in a heartbeat. In so a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. And I think he's a he's a guy that could just just win over Trump without even breathing hard. You know. Yep. You know, uh, did anybody see the uh, the Biden commercial? Yes. 
I don't like it. I don't like him. Sorry. I, 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 you know, I like I like Biden. I'm not really sure I would vote for him, but I do not like that commercial. He needs to get a little more aggressive. By the way, American Patriot says Cuomo has the nursing home deaths hanging around his neck. He can't run. American Patriot, everybody is passing that rumor around, and it is you are completely erroneous about it. Okay. Eh, he writes that stuff all the time. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. you, you <laughs> that is a complete fabrication by by people who want to get Cuomo. Uh, and I He's explain not, this. Say that the, again. He has yeah. what? He has the 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 uh, nursing, nursing home, home deaths, deaths around his he's neck. A, he's a chat and Donald troll. Trump doesn't have 80, 87,000 yeah, deaths, deaths around his neck. neck. Yeah, exactly. He's doing that early. He says it every night. Yeah, and I tried to explain this to Phil last night that uh, the, 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 the fact was that these were not people who were returned to these homes because they were sick, but because they had, they had uh, resolved. Uh, and that's where they came from, and they didn't want to keep them in the hospitals because the hospitals were having trouble having enough beds for everybody. So, you know, a very sticky problem you have to solve. It'd be nice if we didn't have anybody in those hospitals and we could send those people home long after they resolved. But just watch the to. chat in a minute. He'll tell everybody to get on the subways too. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to allow American Patriot to chat every oh tenth time, and if he goes beyond <laughs> that, I'm going to I'm going to black him out. I'm going to go into the penalty box again. Go in the penalty <laughs> box. Tom Lou, you're getting a little in there. Too, uh, uh, with too much. And, and uh, let other Bree people talk. Is a sociopath. What? Bree is becoming a sociopath. What do you, uh, <laughs> Bree is Bree. that? <laughs> well, why is yeah. he a sociopath? What did Bree do? Uh, you know, he's taking snipes at me. You know. Uh, oh. oh, so he's a sociopath? <clears throat> no, he knows how to pick his fights well. Yeah, he sh he should get on the thing and say it to me in person. Yeah. He's punk. Here we go. Oh, Bill's oh, saying, Bill's oh. saying that because he can't call in. Friday night fight. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Bill's no, saying. We can have 12. We can have 12. No, we can't. Jackpot. No, we can't, no. Phil. I, can't, well, I what, find that once we go up to once we go to an 11th person, this whole thing goes haywire. Uh, if he's trying to call us, I'll drop off so Bree can handle Yeah, him. I'll jump off no, and watch. No, no, no. no, no, no uh, uh, Tony will be happy to j jump off, but we'll see if, if he does call. But, you know. Come on, Bree, call, please. Come on. You know, what were you going to say? Hey, Jack. Vernon. Join the Vernon's got his hand up. Vernon. Have you heard of a, there's a new app out there that Google has come out with called Google Meeting. Oh, it and is And it terrible. is similar to Zoom. Oh, it's horrible. It's similar to Zoom, but it supposedly has more controls for the initiator of the meeting, which might be better for you if you wanted to, you know, I you know tried block somebody. It. I tried it yesterday. Google Meeting? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I tried it with Marjorie. There was a lag of about three seconds. Between my video oh, going in, good. yeah, it's, it's it's not ready for prime time yet. It's got all kinds of problems. I, I mean, noticed you did some tests on Zoom also. Well, yeah, I may do overall. I may do a Zoom show this weekend just to on Facebook. Um, it, it it I mean, if Zoom is if if there were a way that I could use Zoom and uh, and and control the look of the picture and everything like that, you know, have a background there and the Gabnet logo and be able to do Royal Flush, things like that, which I probably could do. Um, uh, I would I can't put a background on there. I would I would I would strongly consider Zoom only because I could have twenty people on here right now and not worry about it. But then again, but you, yep. I think twenty people would be manageable. Kind no, of, absolutely it's not. A lot of people. Absolutely not, because we have a tenants meeting and they're like twenty five on there, and it is just hellish, just hellish, horrible. <laughs> You would have to have more control. You would have to have everybody muted unless they raise their hand, and then you allowed them to talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would that's be how they do the council meetings and stuff. They mute everybody, and then you raise your hand and you talk because there's usually, you know, thirty, forty people on those council meetings. And they have to control it. Yeah, I think that uh, I can because I now subscribe to Zoom at fourteen ninety nine a month, and I'm not going to use it like this. Uh, 
I can get up to 100 people on yeah. Zoom at one time. However, you get different amounts of pictures on each page. You have to flip pages to look at whoever's, you know, where people are talking. Or you can just say, okay, just let the person come up who's talking at the time, you know. Right. I mean, then, then think if think if you had another fill on there too. If you have twenty people with two fills on there, yeah. Oh gosh. Oh wow. You'd have to give you me their own page. Down, you can oh, squeeze down the the, the the gallery too. You can squeeze it so that there's a bunch of them on one page. Yeah, I know you can yep. do that, but can, the, but I think there's a limit to the amount you can have on one yeah, page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so, I had a WebEx call today, and uh, that that platform sucks, you know. And I think they pay for that. Oh yeah, that's a pace. That's older. That's older technology, isn't it? I don't know. It's it's not. TVs are using a lot of TV stations They've are been using around for a yeah. long time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 you can. But since Zoom has been become so popular, and I don't know how it suddenly became so popular, but literally, I never heard of it before the coronavirus. So I, I think like that I think they're responsible for the coronavirus. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I heard of Zoom. I mean, a lot yeah. of people use uh, Zoom. I think was younger people would use. Lots it. of my customers yeah. use it. Yeah, yeah we, but were, were, were they were they using it six months ago? Yes, yeah. I've yeah. known the Zoom. Okay, we, we I have, have a question since... about how you set up Zoom. If you're if you're the <clears throat> initiator of the meeting, mm -hmm. can't you? Are you the one who who sets it up with with the multiple squares, the grid pattern? Otherwise. The default, yeah. I think, is whoever's talking fills the whole screen. Yeah, but you can't. Up no, at the top, there's a little thing you, you can, can control click. that. You can you click. share screen. So usually, we, we've had we've been using it for a couple of years because we have Sweden facility, Lodi, and we have Washington. So yeah, the controller usually shares a screen because you're looking at a presentation or PowerPoint or charts or something. If you don't share a screen, then it goes in that community where you just yellow faces. Yeah. But the, the host has the control. Yeah. But it, it, That's what it, I'm saying. it looks, uh, you know, I mean, it, it looks good. It, it runs good. Um, uh, it, it's manageable. But I, I just, you know, I haven't been able to. They, they don't yet have a way that I can maybe take each of the individual pictures and put them where I want them to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So th this works for me. But the trouble is, there's one other problem. I suddenly realized this today because I was talking to my friend Shecky. And um, I had to call him first and say, I'm sending you the link, okay? And now let's talk on Skype. When we could have just kept talking on the phone, you know. Uh, on Skype, on Zoom, on Zoom. Hey, what happened? Yeah. the link? That's a bad time. Yeah, I emailed him the link. Oh, yeah. yeah. But my link never changes, so he could keep that link now, and next time he wants to talk to me, he could just use that link. But the point is that with Zoom, I can't call him. In other words, I can't just say, I'm going to go uh, do a video thing with, uh, with uh, Shecky, and I'm calling him. No, he's got to call me. Oh, you get what I'm saying? With Skype, yep. I can call him right now. I can call my business manager on Skype. Okay, mm -hmm. use, and, and if he's home, he'll answer the Skype. Um, if, if I don't get a Skype phone number, they said, that my $19 and something cents in credit that I've never used... Uh, it, it will uh, go away, and I have to make a phone call or do something. Yeah, well, mine's yeah. going away on one of my accounts, and they don't say which account it is. Because <laughs> yeah, I have several <laughs> Skype kind of accounts that it. Skype accounts I don't use and haven't used in years, and somewhere along the line, nineteen bucks got on there. And, yeah, you know, could that happen? Well, because I, 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 you one, buy something, the, I was going to yeah. use it to call people on landlines. Oh. Yeah, I, I put it there. The twenty bucks, I put it there because when you had that show on CBS, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I had to call in and I had to call a number, uh -huh. and the only way I could do it was uh, to uh, feed the, the thing yeah. your money. Well, I, well, I know that I have um, I have my uh, I have a Skype, I have the Gabnet Live, and right. I have one for me, a Bennett something to something. Okay, private one. And then there was one old one that I think it was GA Broadcast. Yeah, uh, GA Broadcast, I remember Yeah, that. GA Broadcast. Maybe that's the one. I'll have to go check in and see if that's the one. You know. Every six months, they want to pull the money out of there and uh, you know make it vanish. And if you forget about it. No, they don't it, want to pull or, it out of there. They just say they'll make it inactive until you use it. 
use it or get or sign up for a phone number. Skype isn't ready to sue, you know, do that to you. You know, they're yeah. not ready oh, to steal I, you know, your money. They offered me 347-352-0079. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't want it. <laughs> well, what what was what was the number? Uh, three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Oh, that's our. <laughs> I, I knew it yeah. sounded familiar. I can't remember it. I'm thinking of doing away with that because the Probably, only the yeah. only one that ever uses that is what's his name? Uh, uh, Jack. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, yeah. what's his name that you don't want to call? Who? who? Uh, what was his name? Doug Dupree. Yeah. Doug, yeah. No, not Doug, but who are you? Tim. Tim, yeah. And yeah. and quite frankly, if I'm keep if I'm spending three dollars and fifty cents a month, so Tim can call, it ain't worth it. Okay. But he hasn't called Jack in months, and Jack is the only one that he would call on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. And you know, my feeling is, look, you know, uh, this has become enough of a video show that if you can't use Skype. To, you know, if you have to use a landline uh, to call this show, uh, don't bother calling. You yeah. know, you know, because you can do it on your phone. You know, you can do it remote. Uh, you know, we have all kinds of people that do it in all kinds of ways. But yeah, do you think uh, uh, Skype will catch the hint here with the popularity of Zoom? Well, I, Skype I, Skype will make improvements. I think yeah, uh, yeah I think they will. Um, uh, Skype, uh, in fact, has now allowed you to put your own backgrounds on your picture. This Skype? Yeah. Watch. Yeah. I'll, sh I'll show you guys. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That's what I did last night. Yeah, oh, here. is that what you did? Yeah. Oh. Here. You see, I can do this. Uh, but this only you guys will see this. Uh, they they won't see it out there. In, uh, last night you did it, and I was able to see it on the YouTube one. Here you go. Watch this. There we go. See? Ah, you are. Yeah. You see? Uh, and uh, I can put uh, porn there. I could do whatever I wanted to there. And then, of you course, get, you can do the old pictures. blurry. But they, they, they just added this because that's what they have on Zoom. Except on Zoom, they have animations you can put them back there. Like there's a, there's a beach scene they've got that looks pretty good. So, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Now I'm stuck with that. Hold on a second. I want to get out of that. No, I want to get out of that. Uh, I, forget, I think I didn't get out of it for some reason. No, I didn't How get did out of it. How get it on there YouTube the other there. night? Huh? Okay. On YouTube, I saw I saw it on uh, YouTube, when, the background, the other night. What background? Uh, the one you just had on. No. Not on, not on YouTube, not on our YouTube show. I thought I saw it on my phone. You know? No, no, uh-uh. But anyway, so but yeah, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. Uh, I think they, they they've got to do a few things to make it better. Uh, the trouble with Skype is, it's not simple. Okay. Oh, Richard Johansson's trying to call. Oh, you know what happens when Johansson calls? Richard, do not call our program because every time I pick up your call. <clears throat> The whole system goes bad, okay? <laughs> you crashed our whole system the last time you called, and then you did the same thing on Jack's show. Well, how, can oh. the, how can a caller do that? I have no idea. He's doing it, something. But he, it, it just made, it crashed everybody. I had to have everybody recall in. What? He's yeah. a Russian no, guy. No, he's a good guy. No, he's a good guy, but he, it, but he, whatever he, he has going... In his mm -hmm. system, completely think, screws up our Skype. I think he uses an old an old conversation and tries to call in on that and doesn't clear them all out and I, uses. It's the, not that. The it's, it's, context it, it's, mo it's more than that. It's something else he's doing. But it it just I, I tried to figure out why what why what's happening with me tonight and I can't get anything going and I'm trying to and I pick him up and he's on and he you know oh. and, and nothing's working and. Uh, then he, I got rid of him, and everybody was able to get in. He's either in Thailand or Norway. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, he goes when he back calls. and forth. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's actually a very nice guy. Well, he's a nice guy, but what I'm saying is, don't fucking call me because you ruin the system. Well, <laughs> then he should Skype out to me uh, tomorrow or later, and I'll teach him what he don't, needs to do. Don't teach him. So. No, okay. <laughs> 
No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> so, so Josh had been sitting there quietly tonight. Anything that's been on your mind this week? You say nothing, huh? No, nothing in particular. I mean, there's nothing really going on. Can I say that you and I and Kevin and Patrick sometimes get together on Saturday nights, and you are brilliant. <laughs> I mean, you are just brilliant. Isn't he, Kevin? Oh, yeah, I mean, come on. get a lot to talk about then. Yeah, but I mean, he's you're brilliant. And, and, and you come on here and you're so quiet, you know, and diminutive. Is it because there are too many other people? A little bit, yeah. There are a lot of other people, and I mean... I, I'm just not gonna. I'm I'm not gonna debate where there's not a debate really to be had. Yeah. I mean, we can talk. Yeah. And we have a decent conversation on Saturday, but sometimes on here it'll, it'll go in a circle uh, and with a joke or so. I mean, no no one will want to have a real conversation about it. So I listen and then say something if I have something to add. I mean, because you know. we, it's not in case people are wondering, it's not anything. It's broadcaster that we even make a, make a tape of or a video of or whatever. Uh, it's just a bunch of the four guys, uh, you know, just having a nice, pleasant conversation. You should record it and then uh, slice it up and have the best of Josh and then play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I mean... Um, the, uh, when you say that they, you know that uh, you know you don't want to, you don't want to jump in and start getting things roiled up. Is that what you're saying? Or because a couple yeah, of times, a couple of times, I mean, on, a couple of times on this show, you've gotten, you know, you've gotten riled up and you've gone to town, and I thought you were terrific. Well, I mean, I can. I mean, I'll, I'll say whatever I think. Yeah. You know, the answer is or should be or what my opinion is i mean uh, i've i've said that before i'm not a I, I don't have to walk around and and tell people things because rachel maddow told it to me <laughs> uh, you know, my problem with some of the folks that write on your message boards or call this program is that some of them don't have any ideas that they didn't get off of, of a news channel yeah i mean you know i mean that's i mean yeah. And that goes for both sides. I mean, you know, it's like I can watch that on television. I don't I don't need to do any of that. I mean, you were talking earlier about how you might watch things and you don't watch the commentary after. I mean, I would agree. I mean, you know, C-SPAN is free and it's been on the air for over 40 years. You can watch exactly what your politicians say and not a person in the world will say a word when they're done. They'll just go on to the next politician you can listen to exactly what they have to say and then make up your mind you, you don't have, have to rely ever, you on ever, anything else you ever watch the that, transmission of their voice you ever watch that talk show they do where people call yeah, in it's, uh, yeah and, uh, and, yeah, and, and, the, and the host cannot really comment on what they're saying right, so they some will. of the biggest I mean, morons in the world call up on that show and it's hilarious yeah, it's, because he's going Thank you so much for your call here at CSPAN. It's C fairly comical, as a matter of fact. But that's what I'm saying is, you know, they will allow people to say, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah. they have people on that have written books or whatever that, I mean, it's just, I, I can barely watch five minutes of it. And it's like, you know, th this this is just ridiculous. And they, they will just let this person say stuff that is just out of this world. I mean, what's the, the guy that worked for Trump... Uh, is it Gorka or whatever? I mean, the that fucking lunatic or I mean, he comes on and does his spiel and all that, you know. But man, it's fine. But th they've had people on the left on there that I, you know, Tom Hartman's been on there. I mean, you know, people that on the pe people that uh, uh, some on the right probably think is a crackpot or whatever, you know. So I mean, that's yeah, that's all good. That's that's what I like. You know what I mean? Is well, they try to be. They of, try to be as un. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They, 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 they try to not have a viewpoint. Yes, uh, Vernon. Oh. Vernon? Did you guys hear, did you guys hear that uh, Mitch McConnell actually admitted that he made a mistake? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He at first said that uh, Barack Obama's administration did not leave a playbook on a uh, pandemic. And then he walked it back and said, 
yeah, I was wrong about that, but I didn't really know much of the details of it. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's okay if he, uh, if, uh, uh, what's his name, Cuomo says that he was wrong, or but if uh, a Republican admits he's wrong, you're right we, on. Didn't we just say that it was not good that he... No, it was he, good to hear. Good to hear? It was good to hear. He's my senator, Phil. Yeah. You know, I don't vote for him. I never vote for him. But he's supposed to represent me in the state of Kentucky, and he doesn't because 57 percent of the registered voters in my state are not Republicans. Yeah. Hmm. So how does he get elected? Yeah, how does he get elected? Graft. There's a low turnout. There's a low turnout. <laughs> low turnout? <laughs> and people – and they, they promote apathy, okay? The Republican Party in Kentucky, at least, promotes apathy, and they, they don't want people to come out and vote. Wow. I mean, but – but see here, here's where I'll get I'll get myself in trouble because you want me to talk more and I will. How does he get elected? Because fucking people don't vote, and I don't want to hear any horse shit about oh the government makes it too hard to vote. And I've been voting and never had a problem. Oh, but you're white. And oh, oh, give me a fucking break. I, I've said this before. How is every politician in Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia where? Most of the population is fucking black and poor. How are they all white Republican men over the age of 55? It's because the poor black, black people, people don't want to fucking vote. I mean, the, the data backs that up. They don't fucking turn out to vote. And the one time they did, they got what they wanted, Barack Obama. And the fucking next time, they didn't vote and they didn't get what they wanted. You have to fucking perform your civil duty. If you have to stand in line, you have to stand in line. If you don't like standing in line, then you got to sacrifice once or twice to get the right people in there who will make the changes so that you don't have to do that. I, I mean, th plus that's they give you how many different ways to vote now. Y yeah, I mean, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. So how is every politician in every southern state white and over fifty, except for a local fucking congressman, in, in some cases? Yeah. Every governor's white, but their senators are white. They're all fucking men. Uh, you know, they've all got to stick up their ass since birth. I mean, I mean. Well, I think this is that, that, can't speak in a complete sentence. This so is this is this is this is, a, this is a problem that a lot of the black uh, a lot of the black politicos have is they it, has how do we get our people to get out and vote and and you know there should be, how many senate how many black senators do we have do we have any. I think we have Kamala one Harris. or two. Uh, Cory Booker. What's his name? Kamala Harris. Yeah. South yeah. Carolina. Kamala Harris. Yeah. I mean, what's his name in South yeah. Carolina? They yeah. so the South finally elects a black man, and he's a fucking Republican. So congratulations. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, how do how do Mitch McConnell yeah. and Rand Paul get elected in Kentucky, which I'm pretty familiar with. I spent a lot of time in Kentucky and in Cincinnati. They get elected because all the poor backwoods white people in Kentucky are either lunatics who love shit like Donald Trump or they just don't fucking vote. Yeah, I don't vote. They all fucking corrupt. Don't take my money. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, wait a minute. Charlie. Cities, college towns, Lexington, etc., will vote Democratic, and every yeah. fucking body else just doesn't vote. Charlie's got his hand up. Charlie? Yeah. First of all, let me say I agree with Josh that people just got to get off their asses and get out there and vote. But I want to point out that what they do in Texas is they they close down the voting, the polls in, in the black areas. So you got to have eight hundred thousand people voting in one 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 a poll, yeah. and then they have uh, people just walk right up and vote in in the white areas because they have they, the white areas have ten voting poll for for every person. Yeah. <laughs> you have just, uh, that, that's they do that in Texas. Do you, do you have mail in val ballots uh, available? Not not unless you're over sixty five. I mean, Charlie, I'm, I'm, if, you're, if you're in line, they have to let you vote. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with, I, I understand what Charlie's saying, and, and I even agree with a lot of it. That yeah, is, that's true. I guess what I'm saying is more. you got to get people in there to change that. So for a cycle or for two cycles, you're okay. just going to have to eat it. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that sounds easy for me to say because maybe I don't have to do it, but I've done other things in my life to get a, pay back down the road. I've done the dirtiest, nastiest fucking jobs maybe of anybody on the panel. I don't I mean, it, it's just 
And, and at one time, blacks didn't have anything, and they got beat on and spit on mm-hmm. and wrongly arrested, mm-hmm. and lynched, hanged. I, I mean. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, let me see here. Vernon has his hand right. up. Yes, Vernon. Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword because the states are allowed to set up whatever rules they want. Mm -hmm. The state legislatures can set up the rules, even in a national election, even in a presidential election. Each state can set up the rules for how the vote will take place. For example, during 2016, there was a senator who was Democrat in South Dakota And she got defeated because the South Dakota legislature passed a law that said you had to have a physical street address in order to vote in the 2016 election. Well, guess who the large part of the people who voted for the Democrat were Native Americans, and they don't have street addresses on the reservations. So they couldn't vote. How do they get them in? They're uh, they're Americans. How do they not have the right to – how is that constitutional? Because the state sets the rules. That's in the Constitution that the state can make the rules of how yep. you vote. That's to something that has to be changed. Rights. It's got to be changed. How do they get their mail? Don't they have to have an address? They Send have a rural the route. <laughs> they have a rural route. You know, you know tonight, uh, Brian, you've been very quiet tonight. Is there any reason for that? Or are you just uh, sitting back and watching the, uh, the festivities? <laughs> No, just listening. Just listening. Yeah. He, he no. put his hand up earlier, and uh, he didn't get recognized. Right. Mr. Johansson, if you're trying to call, don't <laughs> don't try to call, because you have something oh, wrong with your system that causes it to make everything here get screwed up, and it's annoying to keep having to hang up on you. Alex, he can't hear you uh, at in, in time. Yeah. Time, so just block them temporarily. What do you mean he can't hear me in time? He's he, he, he can listen to this. Li- this is live all over the world, Phil. Yeah, but it, the delay. it's delayed. Yeah. There's, there, yeah, okay. Hold on a second. The delay is about thirty seconds. So thirty seconds mm-hmm. passed. Richard, don't try again. Okay, <laughs> Richard, do not try again. I love it. Yeah, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, have you had your hand up at all tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I you see. I, the, I've really I, at this it. point, everybody becomes a small little thing, and I can't see everybody. Yeah. It's yeah. also because it, Skype again. All these other people in little balls at the top of the screen. What I should be able to do is have you all on the same screen, and then I would be able to see you easier. Go ahead, Jeff. Let him have it. I was going to say I'm really enjoying Josh uh, tonight. He's doing yeah. a good job. Yeah, agree. Uh, when you wind him up, Josh is a great. Uh, oh, he's great. <laughs> it, 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 it is a great um, um, part of the program. I, I, uh, I love his intelligence, and um, let me see. And then Brian tonight hasn't held up his little thing tonight. The, uh, what is it that? Oh, my cartridge. Your yeah, cartridge. Right yeah. yeah. Yeah, we we just spent today was our report out for the new facility uh, in Lodi. So. It's uh, that one's going to make about 58 million test cartridges a year. They so said, uh, 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 let me, uh, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Cuomo today, and on several occasions, has mentioned that the problem with testing is that mm. it, depending on the test you're using, all the cartridges are different. He says it's like if you, if you buy five different printers, you got to get five mm. different cartridges. Exactly. And, yep. and so. Uh, it, but there's no way of standardizing all these cartridges so that one machine can read the, the cartridge from another? No, company. because a lot of the other cartridges, they have to do their prep, their sample prep outside yeah. of the unit where ours is all self-contained. So when everybody started as a small company, everybody has their way of technology of how to do it. That's why. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. And then, yeah, so then when people say tests, you know, they think the government's tests, everything's the same. They all fit in the same the same machine, but they're all different. Well, isn't there some sort of reason why it might make sense that everybody gets together and uses one standard? No. Yeah, yeah. but we're all private companies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but for the for the better of, I mean, you're all going to sell like crazy. So for the for the the ease of everybody can contribute to this global it's commodity. At that point, it becomes a commodity, and his. Yeah. It's the same reason why. It's the same reason though why why printer companies. 
uh, don't all make their printers so the same cartridges will work in each printer because they want to sell you the cartridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the razor. The razor. Same thing with uh, Hey, and this, wait a minute. Jay, wait, wait, let, will you let Brian finish, Phil? I, I know. I was trying to ask him a question, and uh, he said that his test, even though it takes 45 minutes, was 98% accurate. Did, did that mean that the other tests weren't as accurate? Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, ours, yeah. There's a couple of different polls now yeah. because they've been talking about lately. And another one shows like 90. So you have sensitivity. And yeah. then you have yeah. accuracy. Those uh, are the two. Our stuff is very sensitive. They say 98 to 99 percent. Jeff? Yeah. Jeff? Yeah, I was going to say that I think that that patents are an issue why once the companies have different patents, they have to make them different, not to violate somebody else's patent. Either that or it's also, the their, jo it's also their job, I think, to protect their patent. Yeah, and we, we use Roche's stuff for... So we do PCR. So we basically, we take the DNA and we split the DNA. We use primers and probes, the chemicals, to glue it back and forth billions of times. Mm -hmm. And so we we had a bunch of stuff from Roche because they had a lot of the patents on their technology. Mm -hmm. They ran out probably about five or six years ago. And so then we get to use whatever we want. But yeah. yeah, everything's everything's everything starts with our patents, and and our technology is very different. Ours is software based. So you can have one big instrument. We actually have an instrument with 80, 80 modules, and all you have to do is barcode, and that will actually read the barcode, and then it'll take that software, where a lot of companies are all batch. You have to punch into the computer. You're going to run MRSA or whatever, and they have to run all MRSA. So it's like Ferraris and Volkswagens. They're all cars, but they're all different. So this, this whole thing that's been going on has been good for you, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. So we, yeah. So with the COVID stuff, we already started the the factory expansions that I'm in charge of for manufacturing. Yeah. And now just like exploded with this other facility in Fremont. And then we have the Lodi facility. And yeah, it, it, the numbers that we are pumping out and the revenue that we're making is just unbelievable. Wow. Wow. And, and it's not like you're gouging anybody. You got to charge them a reasonable no. price for the, for the stuff you're doing. Yeah. And, and even with like, with Katrina, when that was there for water testing, for a lot of stuff, we've given away a lot of a lot of tests because of uh, like the good for the yeah you know, the stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's yeah, you know, it's good. That's good. So anyway, here we are, loving the time of of, of uh, cholera. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's 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 not pretty what's going on out there, and it's not getting any better. And I just wish. I wish Dad would watch out for us, but unfortunately he isn't. And, uh, uh, you know, I I just want to say to the people of New York, who probably I don't have very many listeners in New York, because it seems they're all scattered everywhere but New York, except for Tony and Jeff, who's up in Connecticut. But the point is that New Yorkers have acted marvelously in this situation. And the reason that number has come down is because they have come to the task they've been asked to you know cool it and they cooled it you know and, and i think i think if if somehow cuomo does get somewhere on that ticket i think you'll be very surprised of even though we're blue state you'll be very surprised about californians and other people that really want to vote for him because they they watch that a lot of my friends up that yep. we chat and them from work everybody watches cuomo yeah it's unbelievable Yep. It's, popular. Hey, it's the listen. same thing as what happened with uh, Giuliani. Yeah. yeah. He became America's mayor. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah but he disappointed us uh, as time went on. Uh, on the other hand, I think that uh, Cuomo is not going not gonna to be that same kind of nutcase that, you know, uh, Giuliani became. Anyway, but I, I won't put him down because he has the same prostate seeds I do. Anyway... <laughs> I want to Maybe <laughs> what does it, Alex? What? Maybe it was those prostate seeds. It could be. Uh -oh. Could be. Thank you, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, uh, Vernon. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Tony, and thank you to uh, Darth Pat, Patrick Blazik, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, that's our group tonight. Why don't you uh, all give a big uh, wave goodbye to everybody for this week, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. 
uh, for tonight. Uh, and it's uh, been a good citizen panel. A good citizen panel. Good citizen panel. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop is next here with the uh, intersection. Uh, he'll be taking your calls and forming a citizen panel just as we did tonight here. Uh, meanwhile, we're off for the weekend, and then we're back again, uh, when is it? Next Tuesday, Tuesday night at, uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, they change, adapt that to wherever you have around the world. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Oh, and stay safe.